Today, I have the privilege of having a conversation with a very special person. He's a living yoga master. He's a modern day Rishi with his roots in ancient knowledge, a spiritual leader of the Pramad Niketan Ashram in Rishikesh. It's one of the largest spiritual institutions of India. He's also been credited with being the founder of the Encyclopedia of Hinduism. His name is Pujya Swami Chidanan Saraswati. I have this image of time as we talk about now, the past, the future, but there's only the moment now. Um, I have this image in my mind of a cartoon strip. You know how a cartoon strip is nothing but a series of pictures that are moved through very, the video, it could kind of move through very quickly. And so it looks like there is motion in each. It's like a, a moving thing, but actually it's not. It's just a series of still pictures which because of the illusion of the way that the speed has been used uh, to show those pictures, it looks like something is actually moving. Um, how, how do the Rishi see time? Is there, is there any validity to that image? Like this is just a snapshot now, 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 picture now, 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 now. Rishis saw not only through the pictures, but they see beyond the picture also. They see beyond the pictures also. They see in the time, there's a space in the time also. The gaps. The gaps. What they did, they expanded that gap, that space. When they say, close your eyes, try to connect, even in those moments, you have just this much time of joy, of that extreme happiness, that uh, final ultimate happiness, ultimate peace. That moment, even during the whole day or during the whole of that much is there. The Rishi said, expand that, that joy, that space. And you expand that space and keep expanding. And believe me, that becomes the ultimate joy of your life. Then you go beyond time's event. Then time waits for you. You don't wait for the time. Main thing is expand. Expand. Expansion is the key. We shrink ourselves and we lose our joy. We lose our peace. We lose that oneness. Just expand and enjoy that space. And expand that space. And that space, when you expand, you will be amazed. It will not will be only here. It will be expanded in such a way that the whole world will become you. There will be no distance or difference between them and you. Me versus them. It's not like that. That's why the work they did, they expanded in such a way. Then they gave the mantra, the whole world is one family. Vasudhaim Kutumbakam. Where these mantras came? It was not mere the bookish knowledge or it came from the brain. That was experience. And that experience came from that expansion. They kept expanding in such a way that the whole world became one family and they could give these mantras. That was needed. Is that expansion of the gap part, should that become a part of meditation practice? Every day, every minute, every moment. When does it happen at the, at the when you take the in breath at the top of the in breath, when you when you have a moment there, or the out breath, it happens both times when you become one. That's it. When you become one, this happens. It's not. It's not there. It's there. there all the time. My curtain is removed. Mm -hmm. Now the sun is shining. Curtain is on. It's the darkness in the room. It's not we have to remove the darkness. We have to bring the sun from somewhere. Sun is shining. What I have to do, I have to remove my curtain. I have to unveil my curtain. My curtain of my ignorance, my arrogance, my maya. It's not maya is somewhere right there. Maya is right here. I create that maya. I create these curtains because of my own ego. One curtain of ego, one curtain of jealousy, one curtain of 
Many things you can say. Go on and on. These curtains have to be removed through this awareness. Sun is shining. Glass is dusty. Does not mean the outside is dusty or something. Outside is not shining. I have to just remove the dust. That's what is sadhana. Cleaning the dust. It's not the diamond has to be brought from somewhere. Life also is like it's from dust to diamond. No, no, no. It's just removing the dust. Diamond is right there. And dust of our own egos, own jealousies, own expectations, own judgments, own ex desires. All these small, small, petty complaints also create the dust, create the clay. The moment the clay is taken care of it, the Buddha is shining. The light is there. And for that, we need that anchoring. We need that grounded, grounding. We need that connection. Close your eyes and listen to that voice. But the problem is that there are so many voices are inside of us. It's difficult to identify that voice. And that's why you have to connect to your GPS. God's perfect system. And it can happen to God's personal system to you. Connect to the GPS and no problem. Okay?